This is the solution video for the multiples challenge and I'm hoping it wasn't too much of a challenge. It should have been fairly straightforward to be honest. And all you had to do was use a for loop and a while loop and just list out the multiples of six, between six and 60 inclusive. Let's have a look at how I tackled this. So let me set up a new file in my loops folder. I'll call this multiples.php. As always, open up my PHP code block. All right, for the first one, let's do the for loop. So for something to be true, do something, split open the curly braces, go into my round brackets, and let's set up these conditions. So we're setting up i is equal to six. We have to start at six. We're going so that i is less than or equal to 60. And then we're incrementing i by six each time. So i is plus equals six. Then what we're doing is we're just echoing out i, so echo i, and I'll concatenate on a little break tag. Hopefully you remembered that. Let's go across and have a look at what we've got. Go into my loops folder, click on multiples, and there we go. We've got the multiples of six. Now the challenge was to do it two ways, one with a for loop, but the second way was with a while loop. Let me go ahead and do that. Now, instead of using I'll use J this time. So J is equal to six. Remember you set up your incrementer first. You then set up your while loop. So while something is true, do something, split open the curly braces, go into your own brackets and set up your condition. So while J is less than or equal to 60, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to echo out this. So copy and paste it in and we'll change that to J. And the last thing to do is just increment J. And this time J we are incrementing. So plus equals six semicolon. Let's go back. We shall refresh. And there we go. We get six to 60 again. Now you're going to go straight into another challenge. And the next challenge is called fizz buzz. And I'll just point out that this particular challenge fizz buzz is actually used in interview situations quite a lot. So it's a serious challenge and one that you really need to think about. So before you get into that, I would recommend that you are definitely comfortable with loops and your conditions, your if statements. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.